My name's Aaron Croman, and I'm going to show you how to remove them straggling hairs from your face in Photoshop. Okay, so we have this lovely gentleman, but I don't know. That hair looks a little bit messy. How are we going to clean that up? Well, with Photoshop. So I'm going to make a new layer so we don't uh, mess up this one. And I'm going to zoom in to the problem areas. And to get rid of this nasty hair, we're going to use the clone stamp tool. And uh, I currently have it sampled to all layers, so it will even do the layer be uh, beneath it. Otherwise, if it's current layer, then it would have to be on top of the, it, I couldn't use another layer. So you can use current and below or current all layers. I'm currently using all layers. And uh, how we use this, I'm going to use a, uh, kind of a soft round uh, brush. Uh, that's a little too big, so I'll go with a smaller one. Uh, maybe a little bit in between. There we go. Nah, small. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option on Mac key, uh, and I'm just going to select a little area around the hair, just kind of click it, and then I'm going to move the brush along with it. And what it does is it takes a sample of this area and then it applies it to there. So I'll take it a little bit here and it removes it. Removing straggling hairs is a really good skill to learn for when you're an amateur or a professional photographer. Now the problem with this tool is if you get a, take a sample in a really thick area or so you can can just uh, ends up kind of you have to keep on resampling. So if you take a you take it around here for example and you'd go down here and you're going to copy down all the hair uh, right there. So you always have to keep resampling and resampling. My name is Aaron Croman. Good luck with your art.